All right, what is up folks? Lynn Ray is here and today I'm going to show you all how to change the font on your website. Alrighty, everyone, I am back. But before we get started, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so now by clicking the little red subscribe button below. Next to that subscribe button, you'll see a gray bell. Go ahead and tap that bell. That'll notify you whenever I have a video come out. So yesterday I posted a video on how to upload and add an image to your website. If you would like some help or want to know how to do that, go ahead and tap it. I'll put that link over here. So today we want to talk about adding a new font to your web page. So we'll go ahead and get started by we're going to go ahead and open up my sublime text, whatever code editor you use, go ahead and open that up now. So right now I've got my HTML file open. So write my index.html file. And I also have a style.css file. If you don't have your style.css, go ahead and make that now. All right. So in order to change the fonts on your web page, you need to connect the style.css file to your web page. Also, you need to add the fonts. So we're going to go ahead and connect first. So to connect, we want to do link uh, equals, and it's just href. Wait, I messed that up in space and equals and we want to go ahead and put the location of the style file so my style file is actually in my CSS folder and so it's also important again just remember you want to add the extension it's a CSS file so you want to make sure you add that extension same applies for pictures as well down here I got a JPEG image if you don't add that JPEG image it may not uh, display properly so going back to our link, we want to go ahead and put the type of file it is. It is a uh, text CSS file, and slash CSS, and then we want to put the relationship. And that is, it's just a style sheet. All right, we want to go ahead and close that tag out. I'm going to, it looks like I already typed it there. <laughs> That's so funny. So as you can see, I already typed it there, but it's all right. So we went through it anyways. We want to save that. We want to go over to our CSS file and we want to just to check to ensure that it's linked. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to do body. Um, we're going to change the background uh, just to make sure that this file is actually linked. Background color and then we want to change it to, let's change the black because that's very noticeable. If uh, save. So just to kind of run through the steps again, we have to link our CSS file to our HTML file by using this method here. And then we want to go to our CSS file and just ensure that it's actually properly linked. So I'm gonna to go to my website here. And as you can see, the background is white. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh it. And boom, black, background turns black. So we know now that our CSS file is properly attached to our, um, our HTML file. So now we know that, I'm gonna go back to, we're gonna go ahead and click on our browser here, open up a new tab, and we're gonna type in Google Fonts. So Google has tons and tons of fonts that you can use and they're all free. So go ahead and type in Google Fonts and click on that. And you can scroll through here and find the font. I mean, there's probably at least a thousand fonts on here. I've already did a little research. I'm going to use Open Sans. I, I kind of like that uh, that font. It looks very readable. It looks it doesn't look too old. It looks fairly modern, but it's very readable. All right. Actually, I'm going to. All right. So anyways, once you found the font, you want to go ahead and click select this font. And the next thing that's going to come up is this little tab at the bottom. You go ahead and click that tab, click on customize, and you go can you can select whatever size font you want. So I'm going to go ahead and use light, regular, let's go bold and extra bold. Uh, just in case I want to change up the fonts a little bit later. So I'm going to go click on embed. And the cool thing about Google Fonts is that they give you all this information. All you have to do is copy and paste. It's very simple. So you don't have to do uh, 
too much of anything. It lays it out for you. So now we're going to go ahead and copy that. We're going to go back to our text editor, excuse me, our code editor, and we're going to put that inside of the head section again. So notice we have two links now. We have one link to the style sheet, and then we have a link to the Google Fonts. Now we want to go back to that Google Fonts page, and down here, Google has also given us the, the CSS code for those particular fonts. Without those codes, nothing changes. And I'll show you that here in a second. So we want to go back to our, I'm actually going to, I'm going to delete this background color so that the background state uh, goes back to being white. We're going to refresh it. So, oops, it didn't work. What happened? Uh, I should probably save it. So it's not saved. So for any of the anything to apply, it has to be saved. So we see the background is white. So I'm going to slide this over here so that we can actually see the letters. So right now, notice how the letters look. Uh, they look very basic. They're just you know typical Arial font. We're going to click on that. I'm going to go ahead and type that. Excuse me. I'm going to paste the CSS code for the Open Sans. Then I'm going to save it. So always save. If you don't save, nothing happens. So now we're going to go back to my web page and, and pay attention to these letters and look how they how they change. I'm going to refresh, and you'll notice that they will change to the Open Sans. All right, there we go. So now the letters have changed. That is how you change the font to your web page. So let's go back here and uh, everything's good to go. So one of the things I'm going to do before I close this video out, um, I'm actually going to change the, the margins here. Um, if you notice, these are, I don't know, I just don't like it. So this is on, off to the left and let's move you up here. And notice how this goes from one end to the, to the other. That's not really, I mean, it's readable, but most people won't read that. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into my text editor, and I'm going to go ahead and change my paragraph margins. So let's change, uh, we go P, well, I'm going to put a little space there. I like to have a little space. And so this P is basically, a, it's a P tag, obviously. So whatever's in here is going, it's going to affect all the P elements on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and change the margin and we're going to do margin left and I'm not sure what did I have. I think I used 200 last time and I like the look of 200 and then we're going to use margin right. Margin right and I'm going to use 200 again. And so you have to use, uh, I'm using 200 pixels. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And we'll see that, notice how everything gets squished in. So margins are basically, if, you, if you're familiar with like Microsoft Word, um, the margins are the spacing that's on the side, the top, and the bottom. So right now I have increased the margin to 200 pixels on the right and 200 pixels on the left. But now I'm going to go ahead and I want this to be centered. And I only want these two centered and these two things centered. I'll call those my slogans, right? So Linray's Ride is the name of my page. This is my canvas. It's kind of like a, a fake slogan that I just made. Uh, and Aim High is a slogan that I had from earlier years. So we're going to go ahead and go here. And um, I only want to apply that centered to those particular things. So what I'm going to do is I have to make a class. So I'm going to go ahead and call that class a slogan class because those are only applied to those three parts of the, of the page. So I'm going to go slogan. So those classes also have dots. So you always have to do a dot. So dot whatever that slogan, that, that class is called. And we're going to do align text. So we're going to align the text and we're going to go center. And then we're going to do, let's see. So that's pretty much it. Line text center, and that's it. So now, if we save this, pretty much those three items, the Lin Ray's right, this is my canvas and aim high, they should all move to the center and nothing else. 
So let's go ahead and refresh and see if it worked out. And it did not. And I know why it didn't work out. So I'm jumping the gun. So it did not work out because the HTML document doesn't know what's a slogan. It doesn't know what to apply this particular command to. So I have to go through and apply it here. So let's find our, this is my canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in this division because everything in this division is what needs what I want that applied to. So we're going to go put in class equals quotations and then we want to apply slogan. So just, so all we do is type in slogan and that's it. Uh, nothing, nothing more. Then I'm going to slide down to here and I'm going to put that Actually, you know what? I'm going to add a new division here because, yeah, I'm going to add a new division just to make it uh, a little bit more uniform. So that one's there, and then I'm going to add another one here. Slash, I don't know, slash div. Nope, why is it doing that? Okay, so this is only going to apply to this division and that division. So anything I put between these two marks here will have that uh, this text line centered applied. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. So class equals quotation and then slogan and then save it and then go ahead and back over here and save that. We're going to click on our website again and it should work and perfect it worked. All right, folks, so that is it. That is how you change the font to your website. Also, and apply those that font or that command to your HTML sheet. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I don't know if I have the right answer. I'm still learning this stuff as I go right now. But uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share the videos, please, if you will. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.